glory for giving us another day. What a good God. Beloved, let us pray. Heavenly Father, the mighty Jehovah, Yahweh, Makada, Tekenu, the God who created you and I, the mighty Jehovah, we give you all your glory. We give you all your honor. For you are a merciful father. We thank you. We honor you. We magnify. There is no other God besides you. Unto you, O oh Lord, with you all things are possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, covenanted God, for giving us the bread that is so precious and it is from you alone. We thank you, Father. We honor it for giving us that a wonderful day like this. May your name be praised. May your name be exalted. May your name be magnified for what you have done around the whole world. It is you alone that can do it for us. We thank you for a day like this. You have given us a word. Spirit of the living God, this is an empty clay. May you use it so that God, your word, will sanctify us. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved in Christ, this is another day. The viewers of Prophet Kanel, I welcome you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for availing yourself to listen to end time prophets. May the Almighty Jehovah bless you so that all the time you will listen to end time prophets. May God bless you in Jesus. Christ's mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Children of the Most High God, today he has given us a word. And the title of the message is the word of God. Beloved, what is the word of God? It is our Lord Jesus Christ, the owner of life. The word of God is the life unto all men. So beloved, without wasting time, let us see the word of God. That is first John, the book of John 1.1. One, one. And let us see the word, or let us hear the word of God. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the, the word was God. He was in the beginning with God and all things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made and that was made. Beloved, it is him. In the beginning, it is with God. That is our Lord Jesus Christ. He created you and I. We belong to him. So. The word of God is our savior, the king of glory, the master Jesus, the author of life. We thank you. We glorify your name because you live forever and ever. The word of God is internal life. So beloved, let us continue. The word of God, it's our Lord Jesus Christ. So without wasting time, let us see John 3, 16. That is the word of God. We give him all his glory. We give him all his honor. John 3, 16. What does he say? Beloved, let us hear his word. John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, 
that whosoever believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. In him is the life. So the word of God is our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, the word of God is a life unto men. That's why we read John 1 and the verse is 4. In him was the light, and the light was the light of men. So without Jesus Christ, you don't have light. Without Jesus Christ, you are useless. Without the king of kings, where are you heading to? He is in us. That is the Holy Spirit. That is the light in men. Hallelujah. We continue. The word of God is like water. What do we use water for? We use water for cleansing. Hallelujah. So we look at John 15. And the best is three. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken unto you. We are cleansed by the word of God, by accepting him. So the more we are cleansed, that means we know the word of God, which is the Holy Spirit in us. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. The word of God quickens our test. It is the word. So the soul, you need the word of God. That is the food the soul need. It is the way that quicken our spirit. So beloved, the word of God, we have to learn it. We have to study it so that we can pass it on to those who doesn't know our Lord Jesus Christ. Those who doesn't know the gospel of our Lord. So we have to pass the word of God onto them. Hallelujah. Beloved, let us continue. The word of God, it never fails. The word of God does not fail. The word of God is there to strengthen us, to quicken us. So that's why the word of God does not fail. Because in God, there is no failure. Hallelujah. The word of God, like I said, is a food unto our soul. So without wasting time, let us hear the word of God in Mark 4.4. 4. What does he say? The word of God, Mark 4.4, 4, he says, and it happened. As he saw some seed fell by the way. Beloved, the word of God has to be in you. When the tempter when the devil comes, you quote him the word of God. The word of God is a seed. And when a seed is put on the ground, it will germinate. So the word of God will grow in you in a daily basis. And it will become a good fruit that you can share with others. That is the gospel story. The word of God, it has us that the Holy Spirit in us, it teaches us in our daily basis. So beloved, let us see the gospel of John. That is John 15 and 7. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. We honor him. We give him all his glory because the word of God abides in us. Let us see it. John 15, 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask whatever you desire and it shall be done unto you. Beloved, when you know the word of God, it's a fellowship. When you know the word of God, it's intimacy. When you know the word of God, you spend time with your God. Our God is so faithful. Our God is so merciful. Beloved, let us see another scripture. 
which is Psalm 1. And the verse is 3. Oh, what a God. The God of the universe. The, our Lord, our Savior, he is a good God. Let us read Psalm 1. And the verse is 3. He that is like a tree planted by the river of the waters that bring forth its fruit in its season. Who so live shall not with it, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. That is the word of God. It will bear fruit, and the more the word of God is in you. You say it. You, you witness it. You, 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 you speak the word of God and let people know that this is the word of God. The gospel must be preached. That's why he said in Acts 1, 8, he said the word will around the whole world. First in Judea, Samaria, and the other part of the most of our Lord Jesus Christ must be preached all around the world so that everyone will know the word. And when the trumpet sound, they can never deny that they never heard the word. The word is for our soul. The word must be heard. The word must be read. The word must be passed on to those who does not know our God. It belongs for the soul. So this morning, wherever you are, listen to this message. Do you know him? Do you fellowship with him? The word has come forth. It is time to assess yourself and to know him and his word. And the word is our Lord Jesus Christ. We give him all his glory. We give him all his honor for giving us a message. That is what our soul it is, is testy about. This is what our soul needs. It is his word that will never pass away. We thank you. We give you all your glory. Thank you, thank you, thank you, covenanted God. May your will shall be done over our life for giving us this message. Spirit of the living God, may you, I pray that you will bless your end time prophet, the one that you have ordained, winning souls for your kingdom, and also his family and his wife, and the viewers that listen to him in a daily basis. God Almighty, Jehovah, may you bless the viewers, what their heart desire, those who listen to the end time prophet. We thank you covenanted God. We honor you for a message like this. May your name be praised. In Jesus Christ, your name, your word has come forth. Amen.